everybody and welcome to another Tool Talk. My name is Josh and today we're going to be discussing Melford Borzal's Ogre Factory. Now before we get into some of the features of the Ogre Reamer, I want to make quick mention of standard fluted reamers. We love standard fluted reamers. In fact, so do you. In many regions, it is the go-to reamer for most ground conditions. But some ground conditions might call for a reamer that provides something different than the standard fluted reamer's packing motion, especially if you're in sand and you want to avoid overcutting or even hole collapse. Now this is where the ogre steps in, because it does have flutes, but much deeper flutes that provide the mud somewhere to go and creates an actual mixing motion rather than just a packing action. We're too close! Stay on target. The Ogre is also longer than a standard fluted reamer. Now if this scares you, let me tell you, you want this. It allows for a slower taper on the design, so less force is being taken by each tooth, extending the life of your Ogre. The Ogre also has more teeth than any other reamer out there. With increasing the number of teeth, each tooth is handling only a half inch more than the tooth behind it. Now if the number of teeth on this thing doesn't make it scary enough, let's talk about sheer girth. With each and every plate welded to itself on the inside, the outside, and then again to the shaft, the sheer force this thing generates while rotating will obliterate anything that gets in its way. Contributing to its angry destructiveness is hard facing on all high wear surfaces with special attention to front wear areas. In fact, we have positioned varied length cutter blocks to move aside any debris such as cobbles and minimize wear on the shaft. So let's talk special features. Rather than just shooting into the whole wall, the water jet holes are specially positioned so that they don't plug and they contribute to the paddle mixing motion of the bore. Also, we've included backup blades for a reversal motion. Additionally, we now offer three different options for cutting teeth on the Ogre Reamer. Shark teeth, conical, and aggressive dome. We recently added the option of a built-in swivel to shorten the length needed in the pit to attach whatever you're pulling back. Now let's recap a couple points. Firstly, be sure your reamer of choice has enough teeth to properly distribute the load and wear evenly. And question any reamer that has an absorbent amount of hard facing in place of those teeth as a cost saving measure. Secondly, pay attention to the fluting of your reamer and be sure it's deep enough to carry those cuttings out of the hole and provide enough mixing motion to keep your mud mix smooth and consistent. Lastly, be sure all of the plates are solid steel welded not only to each other, but also to the shaft of the reamer. The last thing you want is a rotating shaft coming out down hall with nothing else. Thanks everybody for watching today, and remember, nothing bores like a Borzal.